only on two vulgar graffiti littering street signs in a green country community, and it's so bad the sheriff's office is offering a reward. Two works for you reporter Tony Russell is in Fort Gibson tonight with the outrage over the eyesore. It's ridiculous. It's become a stain on the community. I go to work at 8 o'clock in the morning, and that is not something I want to see the first thing in the morning, you know? For five miles on County Line Road, just about every sign has something on it. The images, so bad, we can't put them on TV. My son, in the back seat, he goes, what does that say? Why is that on the stop sign? And that's when it hit me. I was like, this is terrible. Young parents now having to explain what's spray painted on them. I just said, you know, baby, um, someone is not acting right. Property damage is not something that that we want you to grow up thinking is okay to do. Who, whoever did that to this stop sign is going to get in a lot of trouble. I think it's very disrespectful and the gang signs, you know. I mean, how do you explain that? I mean, like, how do you even find the right wording to tell a five-year-old or a ten-year-old or, you know. The county commissioner tells me the vulgarity and the graffiti so bad on the back of some of these signs and the street signs, it stretches for miles. They're also offering a reward to anybody that knows about what's going on. They just need to know that we're not putting up with this vandalism. We're, we're going to come after them hard and heavy. County Commissioner Ken Doak says his crews just finished replacing this low water bridge only to have it tagged. Doak says the damages could run to five to $10,000. In Muskogee County, Tony Russell, two works for you.